Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <sighs> Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist.
So, Mamir, why did Freya spit in your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. speak to the serpent there's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge take me to it finally that horn hey Brock you found something interesting did you now well color here would have been pleased as peaches knowing these offerings were being turned to armor did you know him what was he like never you mind boy tears dead best not to dig up the past the dwarf speaks wisely, for once. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Yep. All right, what'd you break? Safe, bruiser boy. Now, about that other thing. I put my lips to the horn.
have that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Members me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. Ah, oh, eh. Echo no Tuno Puno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Air! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do.
Be ready. Nightmares, ugh. What awful pain. <laughs> Potential boy. Boy. Yes, sir. Another map. Bet we'll find something useful here. favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the Reaper's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of Reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom, along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <sighs> What can I do for you two? Another treasure hunt? Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. The secret to any craft is in the fine details. What else was there?
Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Frey spun your face. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Another name. Here, Drupal. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tyr's braziers? gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <laughs> oh, well we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was under the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Huh. That's quite interesting. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up. Magni and Modi, two bigger twits you won't likely find in the halls of Asgard. They'll do anything their uncle puts them up to. We are fools. Well, dangerous fools, to be sure. When they work together, they're formidable. But too often it's a petty competition. Terribly strong, even as children. I remember the time Hrungnir the Brawler fell upon Thor. Another time, Head.
must like the heat, Brock. Heat's damned useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prod from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pulls are cinch. As long as you don't end up cooked. Come on in, then. So much for peace and quiet. Next time, I guess. <sighs> Wow, it's hot here, but is that snow? Ash, it only falls like that for great fires. The whole realm is a great fire, the source of fire itself, and all the sun and stars if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here, and we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably since the dawn of creation, hasn't it? Niflheim isn't exactly ice these days, either. It's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and grey, heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. Uh, okay, Mimir. I almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I, I know, know why. why. You, know, you why. know why. Quiet. No more of this. Know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Let's get you squared away then. What the fuck ever? Another. This one's called Surter. Must be a fire giant. Aye, the first and original. Makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm, that may be a matter of perspective. It's a great big sword. It wants to know if we're ready to train? <laughs> 